and welcome back to my channel and today we have something quite special and of course the 767-300 is not the point but it's actually the cardboard box as you can see right there there is a cardboard box so now let's open it and I believe this is my paint. Pouring a few stuff out. It reveals. Ta da! Here's my uh, Tamiya putty. It's white. So it's not gonna be that. Um, uh, I don't need to put another coat of white on it, onto it. But I probably will still do that. Just. I won't need to be extra careful with the putty. I'm not sure what this is, but I think this is my paint and this is my brush. So, hmm, what should I open first? Let's open my uh, paints first. Let's see what's inside. These are all Tamiya paints. Okay, so. The first one is a, uh, as you can see, it's a gum, gum metal gray color. And this one is the chrome silver one. Okay, pretty nice. This one is metallic gray. Yep, metallic gray. This one is neutral gray. This one is clear paint. It's like a finish. And last but not least, flat white. So that's my paint. The Tamiya Pretty, I'm not gonna be able to use it until I glue the fuselage or the engines together. But I don't have my glue yet, so I'm still waiting on my glue, and I'll be able to start uh, building my uh, airliner. Okay, so let's try to open this. I think it's from this side, actually. Um, okay. A little bit hard to open. Guys, I've just opened it now. And inside here is my brand new Tamiya putty. It's white, of course. There's a few stuff that is on the back. There's like a flammable liquid. You can pause to read that if you want to. I'm not gonna um, show. I'm not gonna read it to you guys, but anyways, it's pretty nice it's actually like a kind of pretty solid material it's made out of like like a pretty solid material so pretty nice stuff my paintbrush is just really really simple as you can see here it's just a ordinary paintbrush here. Okay, how do I... So this is a really, really, really tiny brush for like tiny areas. I'll definitely need to use that. This is like painting like the fuselage or the wings. This one is for like uh, the... Uh, the back of the uh, engines or all those stuff. But, well, I'll just paint the model first before my glue arrives. But, like I said, the glue is coming about like a week or so, like that. So, I'll be gluing the pieces together in some time, but I'll just paint the model first because I do 
still need to paint the inside. And now that I have my putty, I can putty the fuselage, which, as you can see, it is, uh, like, it's hollow. So, I can putty the, all of these, uh, holes and those stuff. So, I can putty it. Now that it, my putty has arrived, I can probably, like, um, putty the uh outside too because yeah why not i will just put everything first like the uh, fuselage and then i will um uh, maybe like as you can see here i'll just uh, paint the engines and all those stuff but yeah pretty nice new material here for me to, to build my Hasegawa Boeing 767-300 and thanks to my mom for buying this so yeah thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you guys up on my next update of my uh, Hasegawa 767 so thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye